similar in all the individuals and then you know most common symptoms of uh, omicron are rhinitis running nose is quite peculiar upper respiratory tract infection sneezing is very common headache and then they will have fever and cough and less common symptoms are uh, sore throat the headache is also very less uh, often identified and uh, diarrhea and uh, gi symptoms are also less the rash on the skin was you know seen with delta variants and the other covid variants which is not very peculiar with omicron variant and then uh, the serious symptoms are uh, same it is not different go uh, shortness of breath loss of speech and confusion some patients also present with chest pain we have seen uh, a lot of cases coming with acute coronary syndrome with covid 19 infection the patient basically has chest pain they present like cardiovascular symptoms as the first presentation and then when uh, they are examined and they, um, they are screened they are found to be covid 19 positive so it may be concomitant uh, presence of acute coronary syndrome or probably Oh, omicron variant is also associated with cardiovascular affection thrombotic uh, affection of the coronaries or the other vascular uh, areas may be also associated so as we know that uh, the first case was identified in south africa and now it has spread to almost 89 countries and then but the reinfections are also very much uh, well documented with omicron variant compared to the other variants and then the doubling time of uh, omicron variant uh, is uh, you know uh, very high the doubling time is around 1 to 1.2 days means almost 2 uh, 1.2 days with the third wave the doubling time was 1.5 days second wave it was 1.7 days and with the first wave doubling time was 1.3 days means doubling time is almost you know uh, we can say uh, uh you know almost uh, like same and then we have also identified uh, the different diagnostic strategies for um, uh, identification of omicron and then rt pcr uh, methods are quite prevalent quite useful but rt pcr method will not be able to identify omicron variant unless we specifically ask for omicron so in case of omicron as we know that the spike protein is different okay and it is inactive okay probably it, it, the adherence to the mucosa the adherence capacity is less so there is a deletion of the s gene with this omicron variant and then if we go for genomic uh, uh, sequencing of uh, rt pcr probably when we see that there is s gene s gene deletion or s gene dropout is mentioned on the rt pcr report we consider that as omicron variant and then uh, the final confirmation is all with the genomic sequencing so rt pcr test will not be able to identify the different variants unless we specifically ask for genomic sequencing and but the early assessment and the assessment of clinical severity is the key here Uh, earlier the identification earlier the quarantining or isolation of the uh, patients and the affected people and then early treatment is very very important and what how much we have, what we have achieved till now from uh, you know december october to december 2021 so the proportion of the infections have increased uh and then we have seen in india also the cases are rising almost every day you know the infect, you know, the number of cases identified are around more than 2 to 3 lakh so the numbers will increase it is likely to again cause problem but but it has not affected uh, uh, the people in terms of the severity so the what precaution should we take while we are uh, you know uh, uh, there to control uh, omicron variant the precautions are same as before it is very essential that we should mask ourselves properly we should be vaccinated those who have not got vaccinated they should we they should be vaccinated at the earliest uh, so that they, the severity of the infection can be uh, reduced and then uh, so maintaining social distance and uh, uh, maintaining uh, 
professional etiquettes is also very very important and then these preparations like zinc and vitamin d supplementations um, can be advocated but a good sleep good rest and enough exercise uh, you know and then uh, we need to regulate the stress levels okay so uh, all these features all these factors will also contribute whether you will have